good morning students 12th standard physics so in this class we are going to discuss about production of induced emf by changing the relative orientation of the coil with respect to the magnetic field so consider a rectangular coil of n tons it is placed in a uniform magnetic field so consider this as a rectangular coil so n number of tons wind on a rectangular coil so it is placed in a uniform magnetic field initially the rectangular coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field so perpendicular means so the magnetic field goes inwards and come in this side so what is the direction of magnetic field so the plane and the magnetic field are perpendicular to each other so the normal vector n cap is also perpendicular to the magnetic that is perpendicular to the plane so the the normal n cap is the same direction with the magnetic field so the flux is maximum at the initial so that is magnetic flux is maximum because y is equal to ba cos theta here theta is the angle between the magnetic field and n cap so after some time so it is rotated in clockwise here it's anti clockwise direction so it's rotated rotated to 90 degree in anti clockwise direction now the magnetic field goes inwards so in this direction so the uh, n cap in this direction so the direction of magnetic field and n cap are perpendicular to each other in the second case after that again it rotates again it's 90 degree so the magnetic field goes inwards so the n cap goes in this direction <coughs> or in this direction so both are same then after that it rotates like that again it's like that it's a one complete rotation it's 0 90 and 180 270 and 360 degree so regarding the rotation of the coil that is rectangular coil with respect to the magnetic field so there is a induced emo produced in the coil so how it produce so initially the flux is maximum because pi is equal to ba cos theta so the angle theta and theta between the magnetic field and n cap is 0 degree so cos 0 1 but so initially it is now it is perpendicular to the magnetic field so it rotates it makes an angle theta so the n cap so the n cap in this direction so the magnetic field b is split into two components b cos omega t and sin omega t b cos omega t is responsible for the electromagnetic induction because b cos omega t is normal to the plane so that's normal to the plane then b sin omega t is parallel to the plane so b sin omega t is there is no role b cos omega t is considered for the electromagnetic induction because b cos omega t is normal to the plane then the flux linkage with the coil n pi b is equal to so pi b that is magnetic flux n b a cos theta so here theta is equal to omega t we are rotating in anti clockwise direction it makes an angle with respect to magnetic field so consider theta as omega t then according to electromagnetic Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction induced emf equal to minus d n pi by dt so the n pi is n b a cos omega t so differentiate n b a cos omega t with respect to time <coughs> so take note n b a so differentiation of cos omega t is minus sin omega t again differentiation of omega t is omega so minus of minus plus so the induced emf is equal to n b a omega sin omega t so here omega t is 90 degree initially it is at 0 degree now it rotates in anti clockwise direction so now it's perpendicular to the plane it's parallel to the magnetic field now so the rotation is 90 degree so omega t equal to 90 degree so sin 90 equal to 1 so the maximum induced emf is n b a omega so the induced emf at any instant of time is equal to that induced emf that is epsilon m that is that is maximum sin omega t so we are plotting on graph that induced emf versus the time then omega so at zero induced emf is zero then we are rotating 90 degree so that is it is zero degree we are rotating after a time t so it's perpendicular now it's parallel so in this position the induced emf is maximum because so that 90 degree sin 90 equal to 1 so you will get maximum induced emf so the current flows in this direction that is in clockwise direction so the induced emf it's maximum then after that it rotates again again it's sin 180 is 0 so you will get 
the m of a zero again it rotates in in anti clockwise direction so omega t equal to 3 pi by 2 so it's minus 1 sin 270 equal to minus 1 so minus epsilon m so the induced m of goes to negative value after a complete rotation again sin 2 pi is equal to 0 you will get a sine curve so the graph between the induced m of an omega t is it's a sine curve or a sine wave so it's a sinusoidal emf or alternating emf that alternating voltage is flow in a circuit the current is alternating current so the alternating current i is equal to i m sin omega t so i m is a maximum current flowing in the circuit so in this class we have discussed how the induced emf produced by changing the orientation of the coil with respect to the magnetic field so we are rotating the magnetic field we are rotating the <coughs> rectangular coil of n turns with respect to the magnetic field so there is an induced emf produced in the coil the induced emf varies as a sine wave or sinusoidal